Hey everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the latest announcements that StrongBlock have very recently done. And this has come as a bit of a surprise to everybody. Nobody saw this coming. There was no pre-warning or hinting or anything like that in any of the AMAs or mediums or communication that StrongBlock or David Moss has had with the community. So I'm gonna go over what those announcements are, what they mean for you, potentially what it means for the future of Strong as well, and just how everybody is reacting to this. This is the announcements page, so I'm just gonna go through each one and we'll have a bit of a chat with it. Starting here, in our ongoing quest to increase sustainability and prepare for Strong Chain, we have made the following updates. Pay all and claim all for Ethereum nodes have been removed from the smart contract and the user interface. So basically what that means is that if you've got more than one node, you can't pay all the fees at the same time. And now you can't claim all of your rewards all at once. So it means doing individual transactions for each individual node that you have and obviously incurring a lot more gas fees. Ethereum node lifetime rewards are limited to a maximum of 20 tokens per node. And this was the massive one that hit absolutely everybody complete shock and surprise. Now your node only produces 20 rewards and then the node just stops producing rewards. It's, it's just useless after that. So what that means is, is that if your node has already produced 20 rewards, then you would have woken up one day, checked your nodes and realized, oh crud, I'm not getting any more rewards from this node. And this was quite bad because a lot of people, especially people who have been in strong block a long time, you know, sort of the old guard, the, the core supporters that have been there thick and thin supporting the project. They woke up one day finding that half of their strong portfolio or maybe more was just completely null and void now. It, it, it's not even usable anymore. Why all of a sudden have just lots and lots and lots of nodes become redundant? Well, it's all in the name of sustainability. So let's keep seeing what they say. Once a node has claimed all rewards, the pay fee option will be disabled for that node. Node accrual progress indicators have been added to each node in the wallet. So what that means is now every single node that you have, it tells you exactly how many rewards you've claimed from that node and how many you've got left. Monthly node maintenance fees must still be paid in order to claim. So basically that means is that even if your node has stopped paying out rewards, if you haven't paid your fees and they're not up to date, then you won't be able to claim your rewards. So you have to keep your fees there for long enough to make sure that you are gonna be able to actually take out the rewards from that node. There is a 50 node maximum per entangled node pack. Polynode creation has been capped. So there is a bucket load of changes here. And I think really what this means is that ETH nodes as they are right now are no longer going to be a thing because it's basically not viable financially to do them right now unless the price of the token starts to go a lot higher. What I think David and the StrongBlock team are trying to do is encourage or maybe force people into entangled nodes because basically entangled nodes do exactly the same as the ETH nodes do now except that you can pay all your fees in one transaction and you can claim all your rewards in one transaction. So obviously, financially, it's gonna make a lot, lot more sense to have entangled nodes rather than have individual nodes. I did a little bit of rough maths to look at what does this actually mean right now. So if you buy one ETH node right now and you don't compound, you're gonna get 20 tokens and that is divided by 0.09 stronger per day. So that means roughly 7.5 months, it's gonna take you to get that seven tokens. You have to pay $15 fees per month times, let's just say seven months, which is $105 worth of fees. So currently, Stronger is about $20 per token. So $20 times 20 tokens equals about $400 in seven months. So now you've got to minus the node fees of 105, so that gives you roughly $295 in seven months, or roughly $40 a month profit. And of course, that's not including any of the gas fees. So it's not really looking financially viable at all right now, where the price of the stronger token is right now. 
If the price of Stronger were to go back to the all-time high for the Stronger token, not the Strong token, which was 118, that means you're going to be getting about 2,255 over the life of the node, which does include all the fees, or that's going to be about $322 per month. I think that the power of a project is really backed by the power of the community behind it. And the community for Strong is really strong and it is really solid and it's been there for a really long time. And now basically what Strong have done is they've said, hey, if you've been a supporter for, for us from the beginning, catch you later all your nodes. What I think David needs to do right now is to get out there and start answering some questions because he is the leader of Strong Block and he needs to show leadership right now. You know, he did release a little sort of video just sort of explaining, hey, this is what we're doing and it's for the sustainability and this is what's best for the project and all that type of stuff. But I think that a lot of people finding out that a lot of the nodes that they had are now completely worthless, they're not gonna be seeing that it that way. They're gonna be seeing it a completely different way. So, you know, I really think they need to do the best, what's right by the community and get the community back on their side, whatever that entails. And I think perhaps one of the things could be doing an AMA as soon as possible so he can answer all these questions that I'm sure everybody has got right now. So to play devil's advocate, what are some possible good things that can come out of this? Now the nodes aren't giving out limitless rewards and people are just claiming all the time because they know they're just gonna keep getting rewards, people might actually hold their tokens now. And of course that's gonna create less sell pressure which is either gonna hopefully stabilize the price or drive it up a little bit. In regards to reducing the amount of emissions and rewards, then yeah, this is a really good idea. And the long play here is obviously a strong chain, but I just feel for all the people that have got into the project so long, you know, they've always backed this project, they've always defended it. And, you know, they were waiting for the long play. It's like, you know, how, how long have we got to wait? So what do I think in general about all this? Well, I think the reputation of Strongblock has been damaged by this. And sure, maybe in two months time when there's all talk about Strongchain and the developments of that, then maybe people will overlook this infringement of trust which has happened. So that's a possibility. I also think that the communication from the team has just basically got to improve. You know, they give us very little AMAs, they give us very little mediums, they give us very little announcements, to be honest. So, you know, let's step it up a little bit. I think the team are aware that projects live and die by the community. So, you know, start treating the community with transparency and warning, and I think respect as well. And I do hope that this isn't the end of Strong. Obviously, I'm invested in it myself, so I want this project to continue. But I am just wondering about the damage that this has actually done. And my friends, what do you think about Strong? What do you think about how they handled this and you know, sort of the sustainability measures that they're putting into place for the future? And just how this whole thing just sort of went down. I'd really love to know what you think and how this has affected you. Did you lose many nodes? Are you thinking of getting into entangled nodes? You know, what's your game with this? What are you thinking of doing? Please leave a comment, I'd really, really like to know. And until next time, I'll see you all in the next video, bye.